Happy Tuesday, everybody, the day after my birthday. Um, we had a long day at the parks yesterday, so I think we're gonna relax today. Plus that, and there's a lot of stuff that we gotta do around the house. Take, for instance, the pool, although it doesn't look very bad, there's like leaves everywhere because of the cold weather pushing it in and like blowing the stuff off that tree into the pool. And uh, it's just starting to get hot enough now that I need to start putting chlorine back in the pool. Like you guys up north, I don't know if you guys have pools or not, but you guys know that your, your pools go into like, you shut down your pools for the winter. We don't really do that here. We can like slow down on the chlorine because nobody's swimming in it and the algae doesn't grow in the cold weather. But now that it's starting to get hot, like it's probably in the 80s right now. I need to start putting chlorine back in the pool and I need to start vacuuming it. And I also, the basket broke inside of the pool pump. So I, I had to get a new one of those, but we're all up and running now. We're good to go. Also, Jen hurt her foot at the parks yesterday. It like, she didn't know that it had happened, but she got these huge blisters on her feet from walking so much. And then I hurt my butt on the mummy yesterday because when we were taking the picture, we were like posing in a specific way. And when the picture happens, you go down a drop and to the left. And I was, we were in the back seat, so I caught air and then slammed down on my butt and my belt was right there and it kind of hurt me a lot. So now I got a bruised butt. So we're gonna take it easy. We're gonna make some turkey melts right now because we got all the stuff to make it, and it sounds delicious, so let's do it. First things first, let's cook up all the bacon. Well, at least these slices of bacon. Totally missed all the rest of the, like, showing you guys how to make a turkey melt, but here is the final product. Look at that. It's pretty much just bacon and cheese and uh, turkey, and then you grill up the whole sandwich, and it's delicious. I'll show you. Basically, you just butter up one side of each piece of bread, and then pop it on the old stovetop and grill it up. Or fry it up, I guess you would. And we decided to watch Last Man on Earth, which is a new show on Fox because we can't really figure out how they're gonna have an entire season of a show about like one person, the one last person on earth, one person in the cast, that's it. So we're kind of interested to see how they're gonna make a 45 minute show every week. Okay, spoiler alert, it's not just one person on the show. There is another person. It's uh, Louise from Bob's Burgers. And that actually works out really well because she's really funny and her and Will Forte together are hysterical. And it's turning out to be a pretty alright show. We'll see how the rest of it goes. Just watched Sunday's edition, yesterday's edition of The Walking Dead. It was kind of enjoyable, like not much happened. A little tiny bit of action, nothing real crazy. But I uh, enjoy how we're getting into suspense. Like I kind of like suspense. But I do want something to happen. I won't tell you guys what that is, because that would be a spoiler, but Something definitely needs to happen. Tonight, for dinner, I know, right? We haven't barely filmed anything. You guys are like, we're already on to dinner? Yep. This is what we're having. Our Publix gives us like pre-made meals. This is a flank steak stuffed with spinach and cheese. And it looks delicious. In other terms, uh, flank steak Florentine. And we are so close to like the golden years, in my opinion, of the Disney movies that we're watching. We're on to Oliver and Company, which we're gonna watch tonight. And then after that comes like all the good ones. So I'm excited. Excited to get this one like going. I feel like this is the one that like really paved the way because it's got like Phil Collins and Bette Midler singing and stuff like that in it and people are like oh okay so that's what the people want to see and then they're like let's make more movies like that and they did. I kind of was thinking that my Dapper Day outfit I would show you guys like the final product but we got the bow tie and the shoes in today and I kind of want to show it to you guys. Here are the shoes. These shoes were like like 30 bucks on Amazon. They're Bass, like GH Bass Company. They're Kind of awesome looking, and they fit really good too. So check out my bow tie. Here it is. It's a, it's like a dark blue with a, like a flower print, but it's untied. So I gotta figure that one out. Never tied a bow tie. Gotta watch some videos on that one. Here's a close up of the design on it. I think it's gonna be awesome. And I got a pocket square coming that matches it. So sweet, right? What are you doing? Look at my bow tie stuff. Oh. Learn how to tie a bow tie. And I'm gonna eat a salad. It looks really good. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, we got this salad, like, you know how they make salad in just a bag? But it came with tomatoes. Yeah. Pretty pretty crazy. What kind of dressing is this? It's a Tuscan Italian vinaigrette that somebody actually um, mailed us in the P.O. box, I think. Isn't Tuscan Italian, like, double negative? Like, isn't like Tuscan redundant? in Italian? In Italy? Ah. In Italian. Uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below. I feel like I have it tightened up too tight. Like, uh, well, yeah, yeah, you do. I need, I need more neck adjustments. All right, let's see what no, I can do. Longer. Here. Longer? Yeah. What? No, I need this not, not to be further. Oh, okay. I need it to be there. Do, 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 do. Okay, and then 
This gets folded in half, like a nice little bow tie. Mm -hmm. And this gets dropped down, which I still think I need it to be longer. Okay. Yeah, I do. I need, need it to be longer. Okay. Take four. Yeah. Do, you, do you find the hole back there? No. Okay, hold on. That Show hole? Us. Right there? Give us, give us a little look here. I can't, I can't. There's no... <laughs> okay. I believe you. There's nothing there. Wait. Is it, it's not a hole though, because that's made up of part of this thing. Is it there? Or I just you... pulled it out for you. Ah, I feel it now. Yeah, okay. it's like, it's so tight that it's hard to, because I actually did this before Tim did it to see if I could do it, and uh, I sort of kind of did it, but not really. What did he say? He goes, and then you pull. It's like magic. <laughs> Which it's not really like magic, it's... Oh, wait, now this ended up inside of the other one. Is it supposed to be inside of the other one? I'm out. It may have taken like 16 or 17 tries, but that's the first one that I've ever tied. First ever bow tie tied. And it's not bad. I mean, it could be a little bit better, but it's not bad. All right, you ready? Okay. Second time through, same as the first, mm -hmm. right? That's, I believe in myself. I hope you guys believe in me too. Because this was very not what the way that I thought you tied a tie. I feel like if you're really trying to learn how to tie a bow tie, you should watch a real tutorial. Yeah, no, don't, <laughs> don't, don't do what I'm doing. Like, well, no, do it you because you know how to do it. But like, watch a real, a real one first. Yeah, and then, and then come back here and tell me if it's like the same as, like, if you were able to do it. Yeah, because there's the like, tell them about the thing at the end. Oh, so. When you get to this point, right, mm -hmm. and you fold here, the intuitiveness from tying other ties is to go back this way, like from tying a regular tie, but you don't want to do that. You want to go to the same side as your big, like this loop here, and you want to, instead of trying to push part of the tie through, like the, the tail of the tie, you want to try to push the, the doubled up section through there and then leave the tail sticking out. So, if I come back and I push this like that, through there, there it is. It's perfect. <laughs> it's perfect. It's close. So, yeah, okay. I just have to figure this little fold here out so that it doesn't fold over backwards on me like that, I think. Unless that's just the way the bow ties are. I don't know. So. Maybe if I just keep trying, I won't stumble through it anymore. You know what they say. What? Practice makes perfect. Oh, I thought it was if at first you don't succeed. I don't know, buy a pre-tied bow tie. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> oh man, look at that. That looks beautiful. Flank steak Florentine. Oh, it sounds so 80s. Sounds like an 80s sitcom. There it is. I like how it looks like an architectural drawing. Now that was one heck of a fun movie because it uh, Billy Joel. I mean, he was the like he was Artful Dodger. Which, by the way, I don't really know how he ended up being called Artful Dodger because throughout the movie he's just called Dodger. Like that's just the only that's his only name is just Dodger. But in the credits, he's Artful Dodger. So maybe the people that wrote it are just like, eh, just call him Artful Dodger. Unless that's a throw to Oliver Twist, which I've never read. So maybe I don't know. Let me know, because this was based off of Oliver Twist, in somehow, in some way. The next good news is that our next movie in the list is The Little Mermaid. Heck yeah, that's a movie I can get behind. So Jen was like, man, I wish we had gotten dessert for tonight. Oh, it's marshmallows. And I said, let me whip you up something really quick. He said, listen here, honey, so I, I made you a cake. I baked her a cake, a little teeny tiny cake. Yeah, a baker's gonna bake. Yep. All right, and I think we've got a plan for tomorrow. We're going to go get some breakfast at the Hard Rock Hotel, and then we're going to head into Universal and try to get into this. There's like an escape room that they're doing there for a TBS show called Dig. So we're going to try to get into that. So off to bed we go. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Now it's time to pay the price.